I don't think of myself now as killing myself. I feel no desire to kill or to injure or maim. Meet Joe Roman. At age 62, she took 35 sleeping pills with a glass of champagne and ended her life rather than face deterioration from cancer. The program Choosing Suicide details Roman's thoughts about death and involves conversations she had with close friends and family members about her demise. Life is hard. Dying is easy. Although 20 public TV stations throughout the country have refused to air the documentary, WHRO decided it was appropriate for Tidewater. Well, we used our usual decision-making process, Mike, to decide if the program itself has any validity, if there is a way of dealing with the program in a local way that can be of value to the viewers. In order to show an opposing view, WHRO is airing a local panel discussion about suicide. But still, Hayes says there was concern that the program might encourage potential suicides. However, after talking with experts, WHRO felt that was not a problem. And they felt that this would not trigger anybody at all uh, who was not already perhaps going to do it. And it might even be a way of having them view it in an objective way and then listen to the follow-up afterward, which is an important part of our decision to run it. WHRO is airing Choosing Suicide, but not for its shock value. Hayes says it, along with another recent controversial program that aired, Death of a Princess, are shown on public television because of its attempt to present alternative types of programs. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.